Hi, I'm Katie Adolphus. I'm a research fellow for the University of Leeds and um, I'm part of the Human Appetite Research Unit. My name's Louise Dye. I'm Professor of Nutrition and Behaviour at the University of Leeds and together we've been doing lots of work on breakfast. In 2009, we reviewed all of the studies published to date that has examined the effect of breakfast on objectively measured cognitive function. And we summarised all of the data to look at what the data showed. So were there certain trends? And what we found was that breakfast had a positive acute and domain specific effect on cognitive function measured shortly after consumption. So by domain, we mean things like memory, attention, mm -hmm. how quickly you react to something that you see and how well you can maintain your vision, uh, your attention through the course of a morning. It's also things like planning, making decisions, mm -hmm. deciding which things to choose when you have to assess different parts of different bits of information, so different kinds of strategies mm -hmm. and those are all really important for learning. Absolutely. Um, and what was particularly interesting about the findings was that the effects were um, stronger in children who were undernourished, so those children who were below their height or weight for age, for example. So in those children, it was even more important to have breakfast um, to improve their cognitive function. In some studies that we've done here, that are not in the report, we've actually found that if children are of average intelligence, or below average, then missing breakfast is actually really detrimental for their cognitive function. So I think it just underlines the importance that we think breakfast has to set children up for a day of learning. And even with children at school, if most of the curriculum is taught in the morning, not having breakfast means that those children are effectively running on empty until they get lunch. So we would think that breakfast, based on our evidence, is actually a really important facilitator of learning for young children. Mm -hmm. We have also looked at how breakfast affects um, more kind of ecologically valid measures, so measures that are more relevant to the real world. So things like academic performance, so school grades or achievement tests, and also in-class behaviour. Um, so again, in 2013, we looked at all of the data that had been published to date within this field and we summarised all of that data to see what we could find. And we found that um, habitual breakfast consumption frequency was positively related to academic performance. So essentially, the more regular you eat breakfast, the children had better school grades or schools on achievement tests. Also in this review, we found that eating breakfast had a positive short-term effect on in-class behaviour. So it increased things like on-task behaviour in the classroom as well.